Hi guys, it's Mangu here. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to configure your ReactJS application to work with environment variables. So this enables you to run your application in different environments such as development, QA and production. So let's jump right into it. So first I'm going to fire up my command line. And to get started, I need to create a fresh ReactJS project. So to do that, I'm going to type in create react app and you can type in a project name that you prefer. So I'm going to type in env dash, let's say tutorial. So if I run this command, I will get a project called env dash tutorial. So I have already run that command because of that. I'm not going to run it again. I'll mm -hmm. just open up that particular project. So I'm going to type in CNV space env tutorial. And after that, I'm going to open it up in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now we are inside the project folder. So you can see the common files that you get with the React.js project here. And now, before we get started, I'm going to install a global module, a node module actually. So I'm going to open up the terminal once again. And I'm going to type in npm install dash g env dash cmd so env cmd is basically a simple program which allows you to run scripts with env files so we are going to use that to do our configuration so i have already installed this module so you can go ahead and run this command and after running that you can come back to this uh, vs code project and here in the root project folder i'm going to create a file called dot env dash cmdrc create that file and open it up so inside this file we are going to have all our environment variables for different environments such as development qa and production and you can add a lot more if you want so i'm going to create a json object here so let's type in development let's say do and I'm going to open some curly braces here and here I'm going to have an environment variable called let's say base URL actually you have to type in like this react underscore app underscore base URL it's important to have this prefix which says react app and otherwise it will not work so I'm going to type in some URL here. Let's say just development. And I'm going to copy it and uh, I'm going to paste it twice. And I'm going to name the second environment as QA and the third environment as, let's say, prod for production. I'm going to format it a little bit let's set the value to qa for qa environment and production for production environment okay so now we have three environments for your, for our application due qa and production and to use these values we need to do some changes in our package.json file so i'm going to go into package.json as you can see here to run the application we already have these commands start and build I'm going to modify them a little bit. I'm going to make this start div and the build command build dash div. And then I'm going to type in env dash cmd. Here you have to specify the environment name that you need to load for this script or the command. So this is the development script. So I'm going to type in div. And for the build also, I can do the same. env dash cmd space div. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna copy this again. And here I'm going to have some scripts for QA environment. I'm gonna have start QA and build QA. Here I need to specify the environment name as QA. And I can do the same for production as well. Let's say start dash prod and b 
will dash prod yeah i have to type in prod because that's the name we specified okay so now let's go into this uh, app.js file so here i'm gonna do some modification just to print out the environment value here so i'm gonna refer to this react app underscore base url variable and print it or, the dis or display it inside the web page and you can access this variable by typing in process dot env dot react underscore app underscore base underscore url so i'm gonna save it and then i can run the application by typing in this command you can type in uh, yarn start dash do or if you have npm npm run start dash do so let's do that i'm gonna open up the terminal once again and then i'm gonna type in yarn start dash do Okay, as you can see here, our configuration is working fine. I ran the development environment. I'm getting the values for the development environment here. And let's kill it. And let's try running yarn start dash prod. So we are running a new instance here. Okay, everything is working perfect. So now you get the value as production so depending on the environment that we are referring to the correct value gets printed so that's basically it for this tutorial see you soon in the next video thank you